everybody! Our next visit is to Rosicrucian Egyptian Museum, located in San Jose on Park Avenue, right across the street from the Herbert Hoover Middle School. Starting from the entrance, the museum creates an atmosphere that brings your mind right to the pyramids and beautiful palaces of ancient Egypt. This building hosts what is known to be the largest Egyptian artifact collection on the western coast of the USA. The artifacts are distributed along multiple rooms and hallways in such a way that it sometimes will make you feel like you're lost in a labyrinth in time between different periods of Egyptian history. The museum is filled with curious artifacts, and you, for sure, will learn lots of surprising things about life in ancient Egypt. The eyes like these, for instance, were made from glass for mummies because every part of the body was considered important for the afterlife. And this object is not a mummy at all. It's just an atron salt wrapped in a shape of a mummy as an offering at a tomb. Due to its mummifying properties, natron salt was defied and treated as a god in its own right. Natron salt is a naturally occurring baking soda with some impurities. Cute jars with the face of Bess on them. He was a dwarf god, a protector of helpless, patron of childbirth and home. Sick kids were given milk from these jars. Adults would ask Bess to turn the milk into a medicine. Ancient people really knew the power of a placebo effect. Going to the doctor was likely expensive and considered a last resort. Spirit houses were supposed to be places where spirits of deceased relatives lived. This one is 4,600 years old. It looks like new. Ceramic is one of the few man-made materials that really lasts a long time. Barrel cylinder covered with symbols. Try to read this. Look at this model. Now you know what color cows were in ancient Egypt. Here are so-called heart scarabs, which were placed on the mummy's chest to take place of a heart in case one fails to appear for final judgment. Interestingly, scarabs had inscriptions urging the mummy's heart not to disclose the sins of the deceased. Very artistic tiny jars used for medicine and cosmetics. The artifact we have shown here is just a tiny part of this huge collection. It contains a variety of mummies. It seems like Egyptians mummified every kind of animal that lived there. Cows, monkeys, birds, cats. What else will you see? Tablets with scripts, cylinder seals, jewelry, amulets, models of ancient buildings, countless sculptures and paintings, you name it. Just a stunning collection. Do not forget to visit the planetarium and check the back side of the museum building. It has plenty to explore. A garden, fountain, sculptures, a labyrinth. We bought a membership to the museum and surely we'll visit it again. Thanks for watching and good luck in your travels.